Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chris, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to format a USB drive for your Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark IV. First thing we need to do is open up the Disk Utility app. So navigate into your main menu, select Applications, and then select Utilities, and then select Disk Utility. Now what you need to do is connect the USB drive that you'd like to format. Now that you've connected your USB drive, refer to the left pane and select your drive. Now what you need to do is select the volume, which is this long rounded rectangle. And then you're going to click unmount volume. And now we're going to click delete partition. And when you're prompted to confirm, go ahead and click delete. Now we're going to click the button that says Create Partition. And now we're going to configure our partition. The first thing we're going to do is set the partition size, and we want to assign approximately 80% of our USB drive's capacity. Now my USB drive has a capacity of about 4 gigabytes, so I'm going to set it to 3 gigabytes. And then we're going to click the drop down menu beside Type. And we're going to select EXT4 as the partition type. And in the field beside name, we're going to name our partition. I'm just going to call it partition1. And then we need to untick the box beside take ownership of file system. Now once you've done that, you're ready to create the partition. So click the button that says create. Okay, and you can see there that our first partition has been created. Now we need to create a second partition. So we're going to click the part of the volume that has additional free space. And we're going to click Create Partition. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did for the first partition we created. And where it says Size, we're going to leave it how it is because it's going to automatically assign all of the remaining free space to this partition. And then for Type, make sure you've selected EXT4. And then I'm going to name the volume Partition 2. And then untick the box beside Take Ownership of File System. And then click Create. And you can see there that our USB drive now has two partitions. Now what we need to do is close out the Disk Utility application. And go ahead and remove your USB drive. Now we need to log into our Wi-Fi Pineapple's web-based control center. So go ahead and power on your Wi-Fi Pineapple and connect to it either via the Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi, whatever you prefer, and then open up a web browser. And in the web browser, we're going to navigate to 172.16.42.1.1471. And the default username is root. And the default password is pineapples are yummy. And you should be logged into your Wi Fi Pineapples web based control center. What we need to do now is we need to navigate to the USB page. So click USB. And in the FS tab configuration window, you'll see a heading at the bottom titled Config Swap. Where it says option enabled zero, you need to change the value of zero to a value of one. And once you've done that, go ahead and click the button that says update FS tab. Now what you need to do is connect your USB drive to your Wi-Fi Pineapple. And now that we've connected our USB drive, we need to navigate to the advanced page. And in the window titled Execute Commands, we're going to type the following command. We're going to type mkswap space forward slash dev forward slash sda2. And then we're going to click the button that says Execute Commands. Now before you can start using your USB drive with your pineapple, you'll need to reboot your pineapple. And an easy way to do that is to simply click the Reboot button. And that's it. That's how you format a USB drive for your Wi-Fi Pineapple. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.